Okay, all I've done to this motor. This is the comes from the emitter of the these six transistors. Transistors are all parallel together. So there's the block wire that goes to the fires the negative pulse from the emitter. All I've done is cut it and put the connection block in there just so I can hook up right here easily to it. And then there's a bridge rectifier there with an 18650 connected to it. That's the voltage of that 18650 being charged, overcharged. But I just want to show here, there's a, this is the 12 volt battery that's running it. Here's the current. It's going into the motor. That's the back EMF. It's, it's that. It's hard to see on the screen. 36 volts back EMF. But I just want to show how when you hook a bridge rectifier up like this, it's taken to pulse DC. The motor would normally be getting that 12 volts going to it, but because this bridge rectifier is in series with it, with this coil to the to the drive coils, you can see it's in series with it, and this battery is being charged by it. And the motor is only getting five volts, like six volts. So watch, I'll short this out this bridge rectifier. It'll be as if the bridge rectifier isn't here anymore. You can see let's try to short it without fucking connecting the battery together. So there it comes. You can see it's not charging anymore. So that my hand free. And the auto. See, you can see the motor is getting 10 volts now. There's an 88 volt back spike. There's no more charging to the battery. I just have that shorted out. And it's pulling almost 4 amps, 3.6. So I'll take that out of there. charging again but the motor is only getting 6 volts it's fucking shut off fuck the heat meter it's that shut off God, that's a good fucking meter it doesn't shut off I want it to turn off I'll turn the fucking thing off It's getting about 6 volts, 5 continuous volts, outputs 36 volts and battery's charging again. It's overcharging. It's pretty fucking hot. See, it subtra subtracts the voltage of the battery, like exact voltage that the battery is, from the motor. But the amps are still free to float. The motor will still get the amps that it will need at 5 volts. If I was to put 5 volts to that motor, it would be pulling 2 amps. Or 6 volts, about, it's hard to see. 
exactly what it's taken. A normal resistor, if you were to take, like if you could shut that motor off and cut that wire over there and put a voltage meter on it, when there's just a normal resistor, it would still read the same voltage as the battery. It's not resisting the, the voltage, like it doesn't take the voltage away. It resists the current, but this here, if you check the voltage over there, if you were to cut that disconnected from the coil while the motor is not running, it would be minus the battery voltage. All it is is a bridge rectifier. It works with either DC or AC. It says AC for the two center connectors there but it works with DC this is pulse DC going here it'll do the same if I was to hook it up over here where it's continuous current going to the capacitor the transistors are pulsing the current from that capacitor into the coils You can also put transformers here. They will act as a resistor and you'll have the voltage of the battery over there. But it'll, the transformer will resist the current. I just wanted to show that. It's hard to show people this. I've never seen anybody ever do this before. Thanks for watching.